96.7FM.WORX, good morning. Thanks for tuning in. We are live from McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop. It is time for Coach's Corner. We do this every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. I am Rob Connick, filling in for Tim Torrance this Saturday morning. we got a packed show for the next half hour. We have Southwestern Volleyball along with Madison Cross Country, but we're going to join Southwestern Volleyball first because they ride you first. That's just how we do that here on Coach's Corner. Joined by Coach Johnson from Southwestern Volleyball this morning. Coach, how are you? I'm well. How are you, Rob? Good. Good. Thank you for coming in. Let's talk about the season because uh, you guys are still pretty fresh in 2017. Just two games under your belt, but 2-0 on the season. Yeah, we've uh, we've done a pretty good job for the beginning of the season, I feel like. Uh, I feel that we're probably getting further along than we typically are at the beginning of the season, so I feel pretty good about that. The girls have really worked hard in practice um, the first uh, couple weeks of official practice and, and got ourselves in a pretty good position to start the year. When, when you look at last season, were, did you guys reach expectations? Were there any changes that you were looking forward to when you started this 2017 season? Well, last year I feel like you know we did we did meet most of our goals. I think the one probably big gray cloud that's, that hanged over our program last year was the fact that we lost the sectional championship to South Ripley. Um, that was a goal that we really really felt like that we were the, the best team in the sectional tournament that year. And you know we just came up a little bit short there at the end. We still played pretty well. I'm most happy with the way we played, but South Ripley just, just outplayed us. Um, there at the end. We won conference last year um, and you know, we, we, were, we were happy about that. That was definitely a goal for us. Coming into this year, I mean, I think honestly we, we lost um, some, key, some key position players from last year in terms of uh, graduation. Um, but I think that the girls that are coming up, uh, you know, to replace those positions this year, we've got a lot of experience. Uh, we have six juniors on the team. We have one lone senior for us, but I mean, there's a lot of experience on this year's squad, and I don't, you know, I don't think there's any reason why we can't uh, repeat a conference championship and, and hopefully be there in the sectional tournament also. That's going to be pretty nice for you as a coach, knowing that you got a lot of girls returning to help you out here in 2017. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's always nice to, to know that you've got a core group of players that are coming back that are going to be able to to build around. Uh, you know, we, we add some new pieces. We had a good group of freshmen come in. Uh, we've got a few new girls dressed in varsity this year, but you know, they're all plugging in and surrounding that core of players that we already have established. So let's talk about the season so far. Like we mentioned, 2-0 uh, to start this season. Let's go back because your first two matches were this week. Yes. Uh, back on Monday and Wednesday. Take us through what happened uh, against South Dearborn on, on Monday. Yeah, South Dearborn, um, I thought we came out and played played a pretty solid game from start to finish. Um, we had our kind of usual first game communication mishaps uh, two or three or four times over the course of the match. But uh, one thing I was really proud of the girls is that they were able to stay mentally tough. And I think we showed a lot of mental toughness in that first match. Uh, we lost um, one of our starting middles, Keely Pink, within the first six or seven points of the first set. Um, she rolled her ankle and and went out and you know she's she's one of our top two offensive weapons so the girls didn't let that phase them at all they were still focused on what was going on obviously we had a different lineup out there than what we had practiced with a whole lot um, but they just went from one beat to the next and you know we ended up taking home the victory on that one um, so I, like I said I think that the mental toughness factor was what really stuck out to me with the first game and I was really kind of proud of the way that we were reacting to them uh, we have Clarksville on, on Wednesday. Um, that game again, um, we're, we're playing with a, with a lineup that we haven't practiced with a whole lot. And uh, I would say overall, I thought we did really well. That the first set was was extraordinarily sloppy uh, for us. I mean, we made a lot of uh, passing mistakes. Uh, we could not get the ball to the center box, and we had really had difficulty running our offense out of that. Again, the one thing that I was happy about is we, we ended up winning the first set 29-27. So it was a battle that just kept going back and forth and back and forth there toward the end. But I think we took a lot of their momentum away from them by that first set dragging out so long. And since we were able to win that, we came out with a lot of confidence and our passing dramatically improved from the first set to the second set. And once we kind of got the ball where we needed it to be, 
uh, our offense was able to run a lot more smoothly, and we ended up putting them away in the second and third set pretty easily. I, I think for some people that, that aren't completely familiar with volleyball or they don't follow, follow volleyball, you know, such as uh, so strong, so well, they they tend to forget that set one, set two, set three. You got to completely recheck yourself and regroup after one set. If you have a, a long set one that goes 29, 27, you got to find a way to quickly bounce back and get ready for set two because you completely reset. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Sometimes you go out and you play one of the best sets that, that you've ever played, and you blow the other team out of the water, and then you come out the following set and you. It's like you can't figure out how to play volleyball anymore. Uh, so I mean, it's it's really interesting. You know, it's it's one of the few sports that you you get part way through the game and you got to start over. Right. I mean, yeah, you got to set underneath your belt if if you want it, but it's one of those things where every time you start back at zero zero, and that other team could find something they didn't they didn't have before, and they could really come back. You could lose something that you were playing well with, and have some struggles. Uh, as you go through. I mean, that's just kind of one of the quirks of the game that, that makes it exciting to watch. I know when you mentioned the sloppy first set, some of your girls here that are with us were shaking yeah, yeah. their head and kind of smiling. We're going to talk with some of the Madison, or, uh, Southwestern volleyball girls uh, coming up here in just a little bit. we got Madison Coles and Abby Ross and Kai Means as well. But uh, Coach, like we said, 2-0 already on the season. Uh, you, you actually have the JV team playing in a tournament uh, this morning, but getting ready for next week, Salem, Scottsburg, that's always a, a good match. So what are some preparations going into next week's matches? Well, uh, we've been working on communication a lot in practice. Um, we seem to be uh, not quite where we need to be in terms of communicating between our passers. Uh, so we're having some issues there, so we've been working on that. And then um, I think we're, we're really just trying to improve our overall aggressiveness, especially in the front row. Uh, and I'm the kind of coach that I really want my team to be aggressive, whether they're playing defense, whether they're playing offense. If we're going to make mistakes, I want us to make good, hard, aggressive mistakes um, because we're, you know, we're putting everything we've got into it. I don't want to make uh, silly mistakes because we're not thinking or because we're kind of back on our heels or things like that. So uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, aggressive drills and practice trying to get ready uh, for this. You know, Salem has been a good match over the years um, for us. Uh, and then Scottsburg is always tight every year. I think they've they've gotten the better of us the last couple of seasons. Or like, yeah, last couple of seasons. But um, that's always a, a game that we look forward to. Uh, it's a good program over there, and you know that's one that we really try to measure ourselves against early on in the season. If we can get a win against Scottsburg, we're feeling pretty good going into the Madison tournament. First joined by Abby Ralston. Abby, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. I know you said you're a little tired. I know it can be. A little difficult for high schoolers to wake up on a on a Saturday morning, but we appreciate it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good okay. no need to be nervous, uh, Abby. Let's let's talk about first off. Uh, what what position do you play for for Southwestern? I'm the varsity setter. The setter. Okay, so that's a, that's an important role, especially yeah. you got to get those passes right, the sets right for your attackers. Uh, so how long have you been setting for for volleyball? Um, I think I started in sixth grade. Sixth grade, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was sixth grade. <laughs> so let's let's talk about this season. We talked with Coach for a little bit. Let's talk uh, individually with you, uh, being the center for Southwestern Volleyball. But you guys are already 2-0 and on the season. Coach mentioned uh, earlier this week in, in some of your matches, which is kind of expected. You had a little sloppiness. It's your first two matches of the season. But what did you see from, from your vantage point on the court? in those first two matches? Well, I think compared to last year, I think we started out better as playing as a team. Like, we didn't really get down on each other whenever we got into, like, slumps in the middle of the game, and we always stayed up and helped each other out. Compared to last year, we'd usually get frustrated with each other and get down in the beginning, and it'd be hard to get ourselves out of the holes that we dug. But. Um, when we lost Keeley, we had a bunch of people come in and picked us up, so we didn't really slack off on that point. But I think we started out this year better than last year. Uh, let's talk about uh, this upcoming season and what you have. Maybe have you set any goals for yourself uh, for this 2017 season, or, or maybe you guys have talked as a team about what you want to accomplish this volleyball season? Well, a big goal for us is always conference. and. Um, but personally, as a setter, I just want to be able to, since I'm always on the court, keep everyone up and just keep things going smoothly, even when things get bad. But as a team goal, 
I just want to make sure our chemistry so stays well together and we continue playing well throughout the whole season instead of having slumps in the middle. Very nice. Coach, that must be nice to hear about uh, having your players have some of those goals. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially coming from my setter. I mean, the, the setter is really the, the extension of the coach on the court, and she's the one that's got to run the offense and run the show, and, and you know, Abby's done a great job at that. All right, let's, uh, Abby, we, we thank you. I know we got to get to a few others uh, because we got to wrap up this first segment of Southwestern Volleyball. Now joined by Kaya Means. Kaya, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, what, what position do you play for Southwest? Um, I'm an outside hitter. Outside hitter. So Abby is setting it up for you. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, have you gotten a, ni a nice amount of kills so far? Uh, I'm pretty good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's a brag a little bit. Yeah. Most yeah. of our um, offense come from the middle, though. Like, that's where we generate most of our yeah. points. So you were, you were on the team last year. Yeah. I want, I want you to be honest with me. That sectional championship, coach mentioned it earlier, losing to South Ripley. What, what is, how did that feel for you guys, uh, losing such a close match to the Raiders? It was very disappointing. Um, I expected that we would win, but it's got to bounce back, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, feeling that and, and losing the sectional championship, I'm sure you guys have a little fire within yeah. yourselves getting ready for 2017. Maybe a little revenge? Yes. Coming up. I can, win. I can I see it. South Ripley so bad. <laughs> I can see it in your face. You really want to get back at South Ripley. Uh, you guys will be taking on the Raiders in about a month from now at the end of September. But talking about ORBC, Abby mentioned that one of your goals is you know to, to win conference once in a game. What's it going to take to, to accomplish that here in 2017? We have to get better at communicating with each other because I think we started out pretty well communicating but we can like elevate that more and I think that's a key part of how we're going to win that game. Kai and me is joining us so we're going to pass the microphone over because we got one more player to get to that is Madison Coles. Madison good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm just going to guess that you are one of the attackers for for Southwestern just based off your height. Yes, I am okay. a middle um, hitter and blocker. Okay, so, and exactly, how tall are you? Um, about six foot. Six foot, okay, all right. So, uh, Abby mentioned some of the goals. Kaya mentioned, you know, last year losing to the sectional championship to, to South Ripley. When you are going into, because you are a junior or a senior? Senior. You're a senior, okay. So this is your final year yep. for Southwestern. So, I mean, with, with you being one of the leaders on this team, what are you expecting out of yourself and out of this team in, in 2017? Um, out of myself, I want to help in the front row as much as possible, get as many kills as I can, the blocks, help out the back row with the um, with the blocks and tips and stuff. But um, as a team, I feel like we should be able to do the, we should be able to get the ORVC title again this year. I, um, I feel like the other teams, not much has changed, and I feel like we have enough players that are coming up to help fill the spots that we lost last year. So I feel like we should be able to get that this year. And, and Coach and, and Abby mentioned Keely Fink going down in a match earlier this week. Uh, so how are you guys going to rebound from that? Coach, do you know, I mean, do we know the damage on, on Keely? Is she going to be out for a little bit? Um, it, she, she, it's basically a lower ankle sprain. So okay. we're, we're anticipating, I mean, the earliest she would be back would probably be the end of this week, maybe. I think she wants to get back to play the Madison tournament. I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. Sure. Um, but yeah, we, we should have her within within a couple weeks. Okay, so that would be nice. But uh, I mean, going back to you, Madison, about you know seeing one of your teammates go down like that in, in the early matches. What, what's going through your mind, especially with with you being a senior this year? Um, she's a big part of our um, our front row. She helps a lot with she's also middle so she helps out a lot with generating points out of the front row um, but we did have a good her little sister Kaya she actually came in to fill her spot and while she's gone and she actually did a really good job filling in that spot we're really proud of how she's played this year all right very nice Madison Coles along with Abby Ralston Kaya Means joining us some of the Southwestern volleyball players ladies thank you for coming in we appreciate it. Coach Johnson, uh, once again, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us, bro. And uh, I know you guys are going to do some pretty good things uh, this season. We'll, we'll keep an eye on you and see how uh, our BC season goes because, I, again, we mentioned how next week you guys got Salem, Scottsburg. A week from today, you're in the Madison Invitational. 
first go our VC match is not until Rising Sun in September, but once you get to Rising Sun in the first few days of September, it's going to go ORVC match after match after match, right? Yeah, we have our all six of our ORVC matches kind of come. I think we've got a 2-2-1, two, two, <clears throat> and then we play one towards the end of the season uh, with Switzerland County. But yeah, they kind of come bang, bang, bang right in a row. So we want to be hitting our groove right about the time we play the racket. All right, we, uh, we wish you good luck in 2017. And that is Coach Johnson, Southwestern Volleyball, joining us here. We're now joined by Madison Cross Country, both boys and girls, almost the entire team is here. We've also got both coaches, Josh Wilbur and Randy Allen joining us. Guys, thank you so much for joining. You're welcome. Good morning. <laughs> we appreciate it. How are you? Today, I, I know you guys mentioned you just had practice yes. earlier this morning. So you, did you run across the street, run across the to drive over here? <laughs> no, we just walked. <laughs> <laughs> Use their legs, right? All right, let's, let's talk about uh, this season so far, uh, because you guys have been in no events yet. Okay, so when, uh, first off, when is your first uh, match coming up? Your next meet? Well, our first meet's actually not until Saturday, Rushville. Okay. Uh, that's the first official sanctioned meet uh, that we'll have. We were supposed to have a meet against Seymour. Uh, well, it was a Seymour Invitational this past Thursday. Got postponed due to uh, a police matter, apparently, up in Seymour. Uh, really? I'm glad it was there, not here. Um, and then uh, we have a kind of a crazy little uh, fun meet. It's called a Hokum Karam, where the boys and the girls, they'll run a mile, then they tag team with a partner. Uh, so it's kind of a partner related meet. So it's just a, a different type. Then we start Rushville on the uh, following Saturday, where there's uh, what, close to about 50 teams already uh, yep. there wow. representing. Uh, there's three tier, three classes that run on that day. So it's a pretty big meet. Uh, so we'll jump right in, and then we're, from there we go every Saturday. What's that like for you as a coach? You know, obviously cross country is different than, than every other sport, you know, baseball and basketball and football and volleyball, name it, soccer. It's a little bit different with cross country because, like you mentioned, you guys are going up against 50 other teams mm -hmm. in one meet. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's that like as a coach kind of preparing? Because, I mean, first, I, I, I'm really honest, uh, honestly curious how do you coach cross country? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are, are wondering that as well. I mean, Randy, you yeah, Randy, you think it's that bad. You want to take that? <laughs> uh, cross country is a whole different animal than uh, track, which is another running sport. Um, cross country being a distance, you have to train for the endurance, and then you have to train for the speed. So it becomes a two-tiered kind of animal to try to tackle. But, you know, a lot of people, they, they, when you're talking about running, a majority of it is the mental over the physical. And so when you're, when you're running and you don't have a ball to, you know, put in a hoop and you don't have a, a ball to hit over a net and, or a kick or something, it's, it's, it makes it different. Um, certainly from a mental aspect to think I'm just going to, you know, step on a line, we're going to shoot a gun, and I'm going to run, and that's it, you know. And, and so uh, um, every one of the athletes we have uh, come from a mental institution. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just joking. Um, so, you know, it's, it, uh, it certainly is tough to do. But I would say this, that running is a part of every sport you mentioned. Right. And so what we do is what they do. Um, it's just the hard part because it is the stamina, it's the endurance, uh, it is the it is the speed that you have to do. It's all the things except for have, having to learn the fundamentals of that speed. So, I appreciate you guys answering that question. Uh, let's let's talk about this season once again. You guys mentioned you got uh, Josh Villa coming out next Saturday, but what are some some goals or some expectations uh, for 2017. Once you look back at 2016, how your season went, and maybe uh, you know some changes that you guys want to make to to Madison Cross Country here in 2017. Well, the goal is always to make it onto the state meet. So you know, you when, once you finally get to the uh, conference, and then we got sectional the next Saturday. That, that's kind of a goal to try to win sectional or be one of the five teams that make it out and you try to get to the region. How, how often do you guys, I mean, is it always when you guys practice? Is it, is it boys and girls together or do you guys kind of split off sometimes? I mean, what is practice like uh, for Madison Cross Country with, with boys and girls? 
Uh, we we practice different times based on really our schedules. Um, just sometimes we'll be able to put uh, a practice together, which we do on Fridays now. We've uh, decided that we're going to put the girls and the boys together, have some team camaraderie uh, for that day. You know, they support each other when we go to the meets. We're at every meet together. Uh, so it is important that they get to, to run around with each other a little bit and, and learn each other, talk to each other. So uh, that's a big deal to us. But, you know, during practices, it can be helpful, it can be hurtful if you put them together because they're just, they're two obviously different physical uh, uh, machines out there running. So when you think about um, putting the boys, we used to do that. So you got the boys, and you may have an average boys running with the top girl. Uh, with the top boy, you know, it's hard to get a, a girl out there pushing that top boy just because of the differences of times. Um, and that's that's sometimes the tougher part when you're, you're mixing the two. And sometimes it can be very intimidating when you have freshmen coming in, it's intimidating for them. Yeah. Um, so it's there, there's good, there's pros and cons to, to it all at all times. So we are pretty close, certainly, in our programs. Our programs run relatively the same way. Uh, when it comes to training, but uh, you know, mixing the two together uh, just kind of depends on our schedules most of the time. Uh, again, we're talking with Mass and Cross Country and their head coaches for both boys and girls, Randy Allen and Josh Wilbur. I know we've got to get to some of these uh, athletes, some of these students, uh, because we got a whole bunch of them. Jacob, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Uh, how are you today? I'm good. Good, good. I know we, we talked to Southwestern Volleyball in the first part of today's show, and the girls were talking about how exhausting it is to wake up on a Saturday morning. Can you guys agree? So yes. Guys, you're a little tired to sit. Yes. <laughs> I know it's hard sometimes to get you guys here, but we really appreciate it. So, Jacob, let's talk about uh, you guys were supposed to run at Seymour. They got canceled. So, you guys have not yet run a meet yet. So, how hungry are you guys to get out there and actually run? some other teams. Well, I think we'll be ready by Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to it. Good. And, and Coach was mentioning this this upcoming season, or this upcoming uh, meet, I should say, 50 other teams are going to be there. Is, is that intimidating for you guys, or you're like, no, let's go, bring it on? I think we'll be okay. Yeah? Yeah. So how long have you been running with Madison Cross Country? Uh, this will be my seventh year. Seventh year? Wow. So, what, I mean, when you go year after year after year of, of running cross country, uh, do, you, do you think to yourself, all right, I need to do this better, right? I need to accomplish this. I mean, what, what's going through your mind when you get ready for the next season? Well, I always set new goals for myself every season, so I really want to achieve them by the end of the season. So what are, what are some of those goals? Uh, I want to get a faster mile, get a better time in the 5Ks, beat more people. That's always good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, Jacob, let's go to uh, the other Jacob. Uh, we're going to pass the microphone down. Uh, we're running out of time here, but we right. want to get to some of these uh, Madison Cross Country athletes. The other Jacob joining us. How are you today? Good. Good. Uh, it's getting a little loud here. We're in the play place of McDonald's, so we apologize for the background noise. But Jacob, uh, let's talk about how long you've been with, with Madison Cross Country. Uh, four years. Four years. Okay. So what what went through your mind? What made you decide, you know what, I think I want to run cross country. What, what was the deciding factor for you four years ago? Um, well, my brother ran cross country, and it's just kind of been in the family ever since. So okay. I thought it so would you say you're better than your brother? Um, definitely not. No? <laughs> I'm trying to get up there. That's fine. Trying to get up there. Gotcha, gotcha. So going into uh, this, this meet that you guys have next week, uh, what are you expecting out of yourself and, and out, of your, out of your teammates here on the cross country team? Well, for myself, I'm like hoping to PR and um, just get a better mile time, like Jacob said, and possibly a faster time on the 5K. And for the team, um, I think we're going to do good. I, I yeah. don't know for sure. <laughs> do you have, uh, well, let me ask you this do you have any pre meet uh, rituals or, or anything that you go through to prepare yourself for, uh, for a meet? Not really. We used to play hacky sack, but um, <laughs> we had an incident with that. Um, we got kicked in the face, so we don't do that anymore. Okay, so. all right. So we can blame uh, whoever kicked you in the face for, for that not happening. That's Nick Bissy, just take a shot. Call him out. There yeah. you go. Way to go, Nick. <laughs> all right, Jacob, we wish you good luck uh, coming up. Let's, let's get Camden in here as well.
Our final uh, boys cross country runner joining us. How are you today, Camden? I'm good. Good, good, good. Uh, let me ask you this: When you are running uh, cross country in a meet, what? And coach alluded to this, talking about how it's more mental than it is physical. So, how do you prepare yourself mentally, and, and what's going through your mind when you're when you're running a cross country? When I'm running a cross country meet, I'm just focusing on my not worrying about anything else. Just preparing for yourself, yeah. focusing on yourself, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, and how long have you been with the cross country team? Five years. Five years. All right, so would you agree that you also like to, to set yourself goals, want to get a, a better PR, you know, maybe a, a better mile? Yes. Yeah. So how, how fast do you run a mile? Just to compare. Because I know I run a mile in like 20 minutes. What, what, do you, what do you do? Six and a half minutes. Six and a half minutes. I, I knew I was pretty slow. I was pretty slow. Camden, thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate it. Let's get some of the girls in as we're going to wrap things up here on Coach's Corner. Switching from the boys to the girls here on Coach's Corner. We're joined by Alyssa, Chloe, and Lexi. How are you guys today? Good. Good. Let's talk about uh, the difference between boys and girls, because Coach was talking about it earlier, how when you guys practice together, it can kind of change and, and maybe be a little intimidating for you guys running against the boys, or you're like, no, we got this. No, I think we're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I like the confidence. I like the confidence. So uh, talk to me about uh, you know, preparing yourself from, from a, a female perspective cross country and what you guys do to prepare going into a cross country meet? Um, me personally, I just try to think to myself like it's only like 20 some minutes, like it's just a half an hour of my day running, so <laughs> I've done this before, I can do it again kind of mentality and try to be better than the person in front of me. Yeah, that's always good. Uh, how, how long have you been with the for the girls cross country? Three years. Three years, okay. And what, what made you decide I'm going to do cross country. My friend convinced me. <laughs> who, who, who was that? Grace Spencer. Grace Spencer. Thank you, Grace. We appreciate it for getting other girls to run cross country. Let's pass the microphone down. Thank you for joining us this morning, guys. Uh, let's see, Chloe, right? Chloe is next. Uh, Chloe, thanks for joining us. How are you today? Good. Good? A little nervous? Yeah. I can kind of tell. It's alright. You're fine. You're fine. Um, let's, let's discuss uh, how long you have been with, with Madison Cross Country. Well, three years, but this is my first year in high school. First year in high school, so you're a freshman. Yeah. So what is the biggest change from middle school to, to high school, junior high to, to high school? Yeah, probably the distance in running and like just a different environment. What, what are some of those differences? Like how, how much of a difference it is in, in, in high school? Well, the coaches are different and like the practices are like different. And like like how, everything practically. <laughs> it's a completely different experience for you. Yeah. Uh, what, how, you said it's, it's a different distance. What, yeah. what were you running in, in middle school or in junior high? Well, in junior high, you run 1.8. In high school, you run 3.4. Wow. Okay, so that so is a big difference. Big. Yeah. So what, with you being a freshman, how do you, how do you make that adjustment? Uh, you just uh, run more. Yeah. You just run until people tell you to stop, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are you are you excited for your first high school meet coming up next week? Yeah, but I'm a little scared. A little scared. <laughs> I think that's expected a little bit, but I'm I'm sure you'll you'll do very well. Uh, we appreciate you coming in, Chloe. Uh, and now we got Lexi, right? Lexi is our last our last runner. Lexi, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, how long have you been with the cross country team? Um, two years. Two years. And so are you uh, a sophomore then? No, I'm a junior. I didn't You're do it my freshman year. Okay, so. If you didn't do it your freshman year, what, what made you decide to do it your sophomore year? I had Josh as a coach for track and he kept telling me that I should do it and so I ended up trying and I liked it. Okay, so you were in track mm -hmm. and then you joined cross country. Yes. So what, are, what, are, what would you say is the biggest difference? Obviously, it's a track instead of a path, but besides that, what, what's a, another difference between track and, and cross country? Um, how much you do is different and there's a lot of different events and just one event. Cross country you have one event, track you have bunches, you have throwing, you have 
running, you had jumping. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So what did you do in track? Hurdles. Hurdles? Okay, so you don't have to jump over anything across country. No. Unless you come across like a wall. Yeah, or a person that's always on the ground. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that does happen sometimes. So, I, and obviously hurdles, it's a shorter distance. And like Chloe mentioned, it's 3.1 miles in yes. cross country. So, I mean, for you, going from hurdles to, to a longer distance, what was what was that like? And were you thinking, oh man, this is long, I don't know if I want to do this, or, you, or did you take it, you know, grab it was, by the horns? It was pretty easy because we I was already being sent on longer distance runs most of the time, so I, it, it took me a while still to get back like into running longer distance, but it was not. It was easier than it probably would have been for someone else who was doing like 100 meters or something. Nice. Uh, let's let's talk about since we haven't really yet with the girls. Uh, what are some of the goals for for you girls here in 2017? I'd say to win sectionals as a team and make it to regionals as a team. We made it to regionals last year as a team. We got fifth in sectionals, so this year we would like to win it all in Bay Jennings County. Jennings County, that's, that's the big target in cross country. Yes. Coach Wilbur's over there shaking his head, yeah. Yes. <laughs> beat Jennings County, that's the, uh, that's. What, what's it gonna take to, to beat Jennings County then? Um, we're gonna have to come together as a team and we're gonna have to work together as a team and we're gonna have to help each other out and encourage each other. I like the attitude. That is uh, Lexi joining us. We're gonna wrap things up where we've run past time, but. Guys, thank you so much, all of you, the entire Madison boys thank and girls you. cross thank country you. for joining us yes. here on Coach's Corner. Running a little late, but we really want to appreciate uh, and thank Madison boys cross country, Coach Wilson, Coach Allen. Earlier this morning, we had Southwestern Volleyball with Coach Johnson uh, for an uh, extended version of Coach's Corner, but I'm glad we got everybody in. Coach, thank you guys thank so you, much for coming in. We really appreciate it. We're going to wrap things up here on Coach's Corner. Uh, shout out to Tyson Torrance back in the WRX studios getting us on air here on this Saturday morning. Thank you to McDonald's for hosting us as always on Saturday morning. And once again, thank you for the listener uh, tuning in here on Coach's Corner. We'll be back uh, next week. I'll be filling in once again here on Coach's Corner. Join us 9 a.m. live at McDonald's on Madison until it's up. You've been listening to Coach's Corner right here on 96.7 FM WRX.